Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. Thanks. You don't look uh, that tired tonight. Yeah. You are? Yes, I am. When are you not tired, JC? <laughs> what? When are you not tired? <laughs> Sunday? Hey, what a, oh, okay. Sunday <laughs> I'll never see that then. Hey, you know what? I yeah. talked to Ovidio in Kusuko. <laughs> I don't know his name. Ah, uh -huh, see. Sí. And I talked yeah. to Ovidio. He messaged me. Ah, okay. Yep. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. Welcome, Karen. Good evening. Good evening, Roberto. Welcome. Hey, Robert. You. you already finished the platform, didn't you? Yes. Awesome. But he has the wrong date. Ah, wrong date. No, yeah, I understand. He says I'll like take care of that later. Yeah, he says like we start like February twenty seventh, something like that, and ended uh, March, something like that. February twenty seventh. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, long time ago. We'll see. Uh, take a look and let me know what happens. Hi, Fatima. Check what? Uh, check on that and keep me posted. Okay. Yeah, I have no control last, over that. Last time, last time I, the first course, I asked and they say, oh, the, the day didn't matter, something like that. Well, yeah, it'll probably be the same case. Or they're going to Yeah, because like, like, yeah, probably because last time I started, the first course, I started like January, in January, and in the statistics it says I started on November mm. from 2019. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see what they yeah, say. Yeah. Maybe they will not up and say it then. They won't. Parking isn't loud. Okay, hold on. Let me share my screen. Thank you for being in class. Um, Katia is not going to be with us. I don't know, Noe. Miguel Angel said he's not. So we'll see. I guess we didn't do the listening exercise last night, did we? Yes, we oh, did. Right. We did the listening. Driving. Uh, no, we didn't. And the speed limit. Okay, uh, every time you do a listening, guys, it's better for us to read the questions first. I always emphasize that. So let's do that. Number one, Roberto. The man hasn't had a parking ticket lately. Great. Two. Fatima. Parking isn't allowed there during working hours. Yes. Three. Got it. Um, what is the number? It, this one. It doesn't have a number, but it's the third one. The, the fine for parking is 16. The fine. What's the meaning of fine, guys? Fine. Multa. Multa, yes. Good. Great. <laughs> All right, next, JC. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Two, JC. The woman is driving faster than the speed limit. Great. Continue, Fatima. There are other cars in the her line, lane. Yes, what's a lane? JC. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you a I think so it's uh, the the way of como un carril. Yes, carril. Yes, 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 that is the translation. Yeah. This is one lane. I yeah. have heard that in in a song. The fast lane. Ah, the fast lane is the one on the on the left, right? Yes. 
Yes, right. <laughs> I haven't driven years. <laughs> Can't remember. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, next word, Robert. The, the lane is reserved for buses and taxis. Great. Buses and taxis, yes. Karen. The other drivers are flashing their lights. Awesome. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to have um, JC. He's driving with his lion. Lights on. Lights on. Yes. Make sure you connect. Next, Fatima. The other drivers are giving him a warning. Great. Okay. I would encourage Ooh. everyone to get on the platform except Robert because he finished. <laughs> Go to section mm. 4.10, okay, so that you can answer your questions with me. Are you ready? Yep. Let's do this. Let me play mm. the audio for you. Here we go. Page 96, exercise 11, listening. What's in a sign? Part A. Listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? $60. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Page 96, exercise 11, part B. Listen again. Which drivers did something wrong? One. Oh, no. I think you have the answers, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go like this. Um, hold on, I have four people, so no. No, one by one again. JC, number one. Yeah, this parking, this parking. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, JC. Uh, true. This is true. Okay. Hey, uh, Karen. Karen. Sorry, I didn't hear the first one because of my internet connection. Mm, okay, you'll do number two then. Robert? Parking isn't allowed. Yeah, it's been working that way. True. Fatima? Uh, false. The fine was. 60. Oh, there's no way it's going to be $16 in the U.S. Everything is expensive. Number no two. Way. No way, Jose. Number Last two. Last time Karen. I got 300 tickets. $200. The woman, 
you see? The woman is driving faster 300. than the speed limit falls. Mm, okay. They see? Is the other car is her line. In her lane, true or false? The other car is her line. It says that there are. False. There are. You're saying false, okay, Karen? Uh, the other, uh, the line is, reser is lane. reserved for. Huh? Lane, the lane. The lane is reserved for so buses and taxis. Reserved. The lane is reserved for buses and taxis. True. Great. Fatima. The others, the other drivers are flashing their lights. True. Okay, finally, Daisy. Well, that's a, uh, uh -huh. The other driver are giving him a warning. You put true on the one, true, but. True. The I'm last flashing one. Flashing their lights, true. Uh, here you're saying it's true. And this one, he's driving with his lights on. Three. False. False. Right? False. False. Number one, number one is false. Number one is false. The man hasn't had a parking ticket lately. False. So he has had a parking ticket lately. And now it should be right. Yeah, he said that the parking ticket. Okay. Uh, so have you completed this part, JC, Karen, and Fatima? Yes. You have? Yes. Awesome, Ness. Yeah, I do. Okay, great. Let's move on and see. Four and five. Today's Thursday, right? Thursday. Yes. We only have one week. Okay, we're going to yes. try to go by this a little. We only have one more section, so yes, we're totally going to finish on time. Or in time, maybe. Number five. Fatima, would you read, please? Um, in this class, you will listen to a conversation where unreal conditional sentence with if clauses are used in context. Very good. If I found, hmm. Second conditional, it has to be. Let's listen. Guys, do you have notebooks with you? What? Yes. Yes. Oh. All right. Yes, if you do, please take notes. Take notes of the structure so that we can move on faster and then practice. So it depends on how much you get this. And that fast we're going to move. So let's listen. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Listen and practice. We're not going to listen to the rest yet, but first, help me identify where the second conditional is here. It usually starts with an if clause, or the if clause can be at the in between. Where can we find them? If I, if I found, 
If I found seven hundred seven hundred fifty thousand, I wouldn't return it so fast. Yes, that is one. What else? Do we have another one? No. I go. I go. Mm -hmm. I would go. Yes, we can say this is like a. Continuation of the first one, so yes, and I could buy this. I like could, part, right? If I found seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it. I would go straight to the mall and I could buy. So let's take it as one, one result. Okay, so yes, it could work. Very good. Let's practice this dialogue quickly. So you're gonna do that in pairs. I would like you to be Phil and Pat, and then switch roles so that you can practice both. Let's simply practice quickly. I'll give you three or four minutes, okay? Ready? Let's yes. practice. Here we go. Your field. Yes. Okay. Look uh look at this. Some guy found seven hundred and fifty thousand. He returned and the owner simply thanked him with the phone call. You're kidding? If I found seven fifty thousand, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'll go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. All right, Fatima, I'm going to help you connect, okay? Um, say, I go straight to the mall. I'll go straight to the I'd mall. Straight. I'd go straight. I'd go straight to the straight mall. To? Straight to the mall. I'd go, <laughs> I'd, go straight, <laughs> I'd go straight to the mall. Perfect. And spend it. And spend, spend it. And spend, and spend it. it. And spend it. And spend it. And spend it. No, and it's no. And spend it. And spend it. Yes. So every word that starts with S, don't say S. Say S. Okay. I know the, the teacher in the video says spend and those things, but uh, it, it's a very common mistake for us Spanish speakers, so it's all right. But yes, every time you see that, say, I speak Spanish, not I speak Spanish, okay? I speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. So make sure you don't make that mistake. It's, um, okay. it's a matter of accent. It's not that bad, but it's still, you shouldn't make it. Okay. And spend it, spend it. I could buy a lot. Spend it. Bit. Bit. Spend it. Spend it. Spend it. Spend it. I also find out about it. And then you could go to jail. Mm. You got a point there. Okay, did you practice both? Oh. Yes. Let's go back then. Okay, did you get the chance to practice once or twice? Just once. Just once? Sorry. <laughs> the things JC and Robert have finished. 
Now we're gonna listen to the rest of the conversation, okay? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, they're fast, Fatima, I know. <laughs> Let's listen. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you do? Pays. Okay, so what would Phil do if he found $750,000? He will go to straight to the police and return it. Okay, <laughs> great. What would you guys do? Same thing. It's a lot of money. I know. Last time, mm -hmm. I found I am open envelope with money inside. Okay. The envelope says the the envelope says like he had he has like three hundred dollars, but inside there only were two hundred forty dollars. Mm -hmm. I gave them to the security guard. And they were they were accusing me of stealing the rest of the money, and I felt and I told them you can check the cameras if you want to to tell like to see if I really took the money or not. Mm -hmm. But they, they say uh, we don't need to check the cameras. We want to believe on your word that you didn't take any money. Like I think like a week passed, and then my boss told me um, I want you to grant to congratulate you because the security checked the cameras and they saw that you didn't steal any money. Oh, where did that happen? Uh, at my work. In the US? Work. Because if you found... Not in here. Find it in the street is it's more difficult thing, I think. Yeah, I know. To, yes. Where do you go? with that money, um, it's difficult. Yeah, um, yeah my, my friend, good. my friend last time he put $500 between his legs because he was eating at a restaurant with me. Can you hear me? Yes. My internet is bad, oh my God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So he forgot it there, he left it on the chair. The good thing is that they returned the money, $500, and they gave it back to him. But at some point, well, the thing is that there are cameras in that restaurant, so they were going to identify who the skipper was, right? Maybe that's why they returned it, but there were some people trying to follow the instructions. They were told to, to call to get the money back, so it's like an employee told a friend to call them make himself look like the owner of the money so they, he almost lost those five hundred dollars but it happened in El Salvador unbelievably and it was not a high end restaurant it was a you know regular restaurant. Okay uh so what would you do guys if this happened to you? What would you do if this happened to you? Return the money. You would return the money, JC? I can even Me imagine, too. really. <laughs> if JC would return the money, Fatima? Yeah. I don't know because if you say I return it, I will return it. To who? Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's in the place that you found it, but I, I, I don't know. I will keep it. Meanwhile, somebody in the news said something. <laughs> I don't yes, know. I will probably do the same as you. What about you, Karen? Maybe I return it, but it depends on the place that I found the the, the money. 
But imagine it's in the street, then what would you do? Yeah, or, or you can do it because you you want to be free of any guilty. You, you found it, but you lived it. Uh -huh, free of guilt. Yes, free of guilt. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought about the police. I know the police would just take the money. They would just take it yes. and, <laughs> and distribute it. <laughs> Oh, yep. Okay. Um, before we practice, I want us to see the structure of the second condition. All right. Let's see that. Hi. Are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An unreal conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. Okay, I'm gonna give you the structure quickly. Um, but anyway, do you remember what it is? What is the structure for the third conditional? Is if plus past simple plus will, could, or might plus main clause verb. Mm, yes, if subject and in the past, right? Like this. And then you have subject, clause, modal. We learned would. about modals, right? Modal could be would. Yeah, modal. Common one, the most common one is would. You could also use could or might. Plus uh, the verb in what form, guys? Uh, no. Yeah. Remember, base form. Yeah, guys, listen. After a modal, you always use the base form. Always, no matter what. Okay? After modal. Okay. Very good. And I have this saying if you change the order, no comma. Okay? Si cambia el orden, no comma. <laughs> it's like a pun. No comma. <laughs> yeah, but no comma. No comma. Don't eat. Uh huh. <laughs> if you change the order, if you change the order, no comma, right? So what does that mean? If you change the order, no comma means this is what is the usual order, guys? It's cause and effect, right? Or is it effect and cause? What's the usual order? Cause and effect or effect cause and, and cause? effect? Yes, right, but if cause you and effect. Cause, yes, cause. No, hold on. <laughs> yes. Cause and effect. Yes, if this is the order. Yeah. Okay, so if you change this order, no comma, all right? So no comma, don't eat. Uh-huh. 
So here we have the comma, but you can say, you can invert it and you remove that comma. For example, we're going to say if, help me complete the sentence, if, look, subject I, if I had a million dollars, there's a song, if I had a million dollars, comma, I would, I would buy, buy, yes, verb in the base form, I would buy what? A jewelry. A new. <laughs> you would buy a new jewelry, car. Daisy? What for? A new car. <laughs> I would buy a new car. Uh, JC, don't you want like a, a, a pearl pier necklace <laughs> or something like that or a ring, a gold ring? Who wants jewelry? Uh -huh. <laughs> so if I had yeah, a million really. dollars, I would buy a new car. Look, we're following this structure. I'm going to make it blue. Oh, there it is. Okay, now if I change the order, no comma, I'm going to copy paste this. I... I would buy a new car, uh -huh. comma. No comma. If no I comma. had a million dollars. If I had a million dollars. Yeah, no comma. Dollars. Very good. Is that clear? So, so. Okay, so this. Where is, okay. These, you cannot split, guys. You can't change the order of this, all right? They always go to, you can change the positions, but you can never change the order of these sentences. Uh -huh. So these you can't modify. These you can change, right? But these always go together. Okay, change. Mm -hmm. uh, cause and effect. Okay, now let me see. What is the difference if I decide to use would? Could or might? What's the difference? Do you have Could any? Is used for questions. Could is for questions. Mm -mm. What's the difference? Because we can use either of the three here in this part as a model. What's the difference? Could, well, for example, is oh. pass a uh, can't. Aha, uh -huh. it's a past of can, so it means podría. No, I, I think. Podría. Yes, no, no, Robert, es podría. So if I if I had a million dollars, I could uh, travel around the world. Yeah, podría. It's not the same to say podría versus viajaría, okay? The only That's one that cool. is, so this wood is for everything, all right? Wood is for everything. Could is the Woody. past of can, okay? It's it's no can. It's not the past of can in this case. It's can to have the ability. And might is a synonym of maybe in this case. So mm, if I had a million dollars, I might, or maybe I would, um, go to a fine restaurant. I don't know. So this is a possibility, okay? Five stars. Is that clear? Clear. Very Maybe. Good. Maybe. Okay, would you can use my thing? Can is to refer to the ability. And may might you can use it as a replacement of maybe. Is that clear? Possibility. Really. Okay, awesome. Now a negative form. How do you form the negative form? Where can I put the negative form here? After the subject. Okay, it's the same thing, right? No. If plus subject plus didn't plus the verb in the base form. So it's simply the past, guys. If and the past. Okay? Past can be affirmative or negative. And the modal, you would put negative form after the modal. You would put it right here, not. So, for example, we're going to change this. If I, let's make this part negative, the first one. Let's make it negative. If I. If, if I didn't uh -huh. have. Didn't. Have, I mean. 
Has? Have a. Have? have. Yes. Yes. If I didn't have a million dollars. I. Let's make it negative. Wouldn't. I wouldn't buy a new car. Buy a new car. Very good. Is that clear? Yes. Are you ready to practice speaking? Can you use the structure now? Speaking. Speaking. Okay, well, I sent you the questions. I will take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Silence as a yes. Okay, we're gonna practice in pairs. Now it's going to be Roberto and Fatima. Karen and JC. Okay, I sent you some questions through WhatsApp. Check the phone, please. Discuss those questions. Make sure you're using the conjugations the right way. If you make mistakes, you can correct your uh, your classmates. Okay, accidentation, please, and I'll be there with you. Hi. Hi, Jesse. Let's begin. Okay, you start. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? Uh, I will be uh a white tiger really how does a pine a <laughs> white tiger uh, describe you maybe you like the sun i like the the white okay. tiger okay but how do you identify with a tiger the tiger In ways are you similar mm, i don't know the I was young. I like the the tiger. I liked, liked the tiger. Okay, you can. Maybe if if I were an animal, I would be a bird. Me too. Why? So because, uh, I don't know because they 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 are fast they they uh, they enjoy flying they can fly they uh, they like to eat uh, uh, fruit and flowers I don't know <laughs> I would be a a bird because. I want to live in, in different parts of the world, so I fly. <laughs> and, and maybe they, they are free, you know? So uh -huh. they, they, uh -huh. Next question. Okay. Uh, is uh, you went back in the time? Uh -huh. uh, if you went back in time, what year would you Will you go to? Uh, maybe uh, if I went back in time, I maybe might go to nineteen seventy. That's a good power. Okay, if you could make one change to the world, what would you do? Uh, if I could make one change to the world, I will, 
I don't know what, what word is. I will take off or take apart all the bad people with bad feelings. Karen, you can say I will get rid of. That is the phrase of verb. Get rid of. I'm going to write it for you. Okay. That means deshacerse de. Get rid of. Check the chat. Get rid of. Ah, yeah, yes. Get rid of. Take, I would get, get rid of rid people. Of. people. Get rid of. I will. I will get get rid of evil people. Evil people. Mm -hmm. I will. Evil mess. Rid of. Uh huh. Yes. Um. Mm -mm. If you could change something about your past, what would you change? Oh. Something about my past. past. If I could change something about my past, I would change the day I decide to get married. The day I decided. Why? I decided, yes. The day I decided I got married. Because I got divorced. Oh. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You didn't know? No, no. <laughs> I, I saw that. Why? Bro, you know. How old are Besides. you? I'm 28. Oh, you're my age and you're the ah. boy. Roberto. Yes. I, listen, wow. I got married. I got married at age 24. And I was getting divorced. Uh, by the end of 25. <gasps> so less than a year. Yeah, less than yes. a year. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. Hey, so, so if you could go back in, in time and go back to the day you get married, what would you do? You would decide not to get married or you would, what, what would you change? No, like probably that conversation when we started about talking about getting married. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you are, you were not that down. Not, I not know. Oh. I, I thought that you were, what I say, that you were uh, 18 or something like that. No. So did I, I wish I could be that age. Wow. No, no, no. She's saying that she thought you had gotten married at the age of 18. And I thought, yes, so oh, I married at a young age. I thought she, you were not that young. I thought she said I looked like. Oh, no, I, I know. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> no, I'm messing up. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, you, no that, you shocked me with that. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't change. Because the past I uh, will be... They say it's imaginary. You have just said, ah, imaginary. Yo no cambio, yo no cambio, no, no cambiaría. So say, I wouldn't change. I would. Wouldn't? I would change. Change anything. I would change and uh, spend a new car. What do you mean? You wouldn't spend? Uh, I know I and I don't have a new car. It's used car. Uh huh. Then I will change any of the past. Okay. I buy a new car. Hold on, let me help you. And then you're gonna write it because I need you to use the sentence right. So if I could change something about the past, go ahead. Okay. If I could I, change, if I could change something about the past. Change something. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I would buy a new car. I would buy a new car. Mm -hmm. Okay. I 
And you, Karen? Uh, if I could change something about my past, I wouldn't get married. Okay. So what would you like to do if you were a member of the opposite sex for one day? What you like to do if you were a member of the opposite sex for one day? I don't know, understand this question. So, so the, okay. If you have Sorry, billions of, if you were a woman, <laughs> in this case, if you were a woman, what would you do? And in your case, Karen, if you were a man, what would you do? For one day, it says, right? One day. I don't know, what does the question say? No, what would you like to do if you were a member of the opposite sex for one day? Yes, uh -huh, for, for one, one day. day. So if you were a woman for one mm -hmm. day, and if you were a man for I one day. Were a man for one day. Is if I could no say if I were a woman for one day if I were a woman for one day for one day mm -hmm. uh, I I like to do uh, by shoes mm. I don't understand. Sorry, hold on. We're going to make a parenthesis. You're going to practice the last questions with someone else, okay? So, Karen, you're going to practice with Roberto. Let me tell you. One second. Lovely. Sorry, guys. Uh, Fatima, you're going to practice with JC right now. And Roberto, you will practice with Karen. Discuss the last questions, please. Only the last questions. The last? Okay. Yes, where you left off. The last. The third last? The two last. Hold on, I'm bringing in JC. No, no, no. Uh, what was the last question you discussed? Uh, we finished. Oh, you finished them. Okay, so you would discuss eight, nine, and ten with okay. JC. Go ahead. What? Question seven, eight, uh, no, sorry, eight, nine, and ten. Uh -huh. Okay, eight. If uh, if you have billions and billions of dollars, how much would you give to charity and which charities and which charities? Okay, I, for me, if, mm -hmm. okay, go. Uh, if I had billions and billions of dollars, I will, I will, uh, I will give to, uh, uh, orphans mm -hmm. and to, to invest uh, in in education for the kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. and and how much would you give? Uh, I'm I'm not sure, but maybe a million. A million every a billion a million every each year. Uh -huh. A billion. Okay. A billion, a, a billion, one billion for each uh, orphan. Uh, or, uh, it's correct the word or or how do you say orphan? Orphan. Or orphan. The place or the person. The place. The place. If I'm not wrong, it's orphanage. Orphanage. Let me check. Orphanage. Orphanage? orphanage. Yes, let me make sure. Orphanage. Yes, orphanage. That's the word. Orphanage. orphanage. And, the, and, and, and for the kids, orphans. Orphans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you, Roberto? I will give 
a million of dollars to each orphanage and for the homeless person, people. Mm -hmm. If I have a billions and billions of dollars. Okay. If you could go on a date with anyone, anyone in the world, who will it be? Ah, uh, this sucks. Probably it will be the president of the Salvador to talk. Oh, but that's about... a romantic date, Robert. As in, on a date? No, the <laughs> question is not saying that. <gasps> yes, the question says that. Let me see. Yes, if, if you could go on a date. <laughs> No, it doesn't say a romantic date. It does it say a date. date. But a date is romantic, right? Yes, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Romantic. You, no, it's not supposed to be romantic. Yes, it's going on a date. Oh, it does. <laughs> it is. Ah. It is a really? cita. What do you understand by that? And in English, it's the same. You say, I'm dating a person. I'm going on a date with her. Karen, who would it be? With uh, with, I, will, I will have a date with Bradley Cooper, you know? Bradley Cooper, who the hell is that? <laughs> who is that? Since, <laughs> no, since, since I watch that. Okay, sorry guys to interrupt, but it's already late. <laughs> that question is so tricky. Uh, it's not tricky. <laughs> you got confused, brother. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. If you want to go on a date with the president, it's fine. I mean, I'm not going to mm, judge. But I no, <laughs> not really. No. <laughs> I think it's misunderstood. It. That's the problem. Okay, guys. Hold yes. On. Hold on, hold on. I want to see everyone. <laughs> I'm I'm interested in the last question. So Karen says she would go on a date with Bradley Cooper if she could go out with anybody. Okay. That works, Karen. Good choice. Okay, what about you, Katya? <laughs> <laughs> Who'd it be? That's not the last question. The date. If you could ah, go to date with anybody, who would it be? I am, I'm, I am a married woman. So, <laughs> uh, you, come on. <laughs> well, if you don't want to say it, I, 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 no, I, I say I said I I would like to have uh, a date with the actual president of El Salvador with because not a romantic date. <laughs> she's saying romantic date. No, <laughs> it has to be a romantic date. No, but she's married. Okay. No, but but to to know him. To know him and to talk up. talk about something so you can can notice if he really is a good person or a bad person if ah, he gets okay. bad feelings. I don't yeah. know. When you say go yeah. on a date, you usually infer it's a romantic date, but we're yeah. gonna leave it there. Like you, you're just gonna <laughs> talk, okay, JC? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Salma Hayat. Let me see this girl. Sana. Which voice, my friend? Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the fact that she's Latin. You know what? Personally, for me, Latin people are the most beautiful ones. Not European, not uh, Middle Eastern people, That's but true. Latins are so beautiful. Uh, yeah. All the way. <laughs> yeah. Yay, low. Yes, Latin people. There we go. Awesome. And in my case, it wouldn't be anybody famous. It would be somebody, I, I always have a crush on somebody here and there. Uh, right now, like it changes, right? <laughs> right now, <Ooh>. it, <laughs> yes, I always have a crush on somebody, but it changes depending on the on the period of time. Why? Because it changes. This time? <laughs> no, but it's not a famous one and there are no pictures of him anywhere because he's a very private person. There are no pictures anywhere. 
and I haven't uh -huh. been able to take and a I have a and, 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 and how, <laughs> and you have how a do you know? <laughs> one of, one of the bank, he's yeah. one of the bank directors, and he was my student until last week. But he was my crush. Obviously, he never realized. Okay. Obviously not. <laughs> so I would go out on a date with him. Present? Sorry? Give us a name. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> no, just tell, us, just tell us the name and we look for him. So just a link uh -huh. go. <laughs> and it's weird. Uh -huh. I already uh -huh. checked LinkedIn and there are no pictures, nothing. And when we had... We used to have classes at the bank, right? But when we changed to online, he would never turn his camera on. Never. He's a very private person. So you will not find any pictures anywhere. And how do, do you, you know, know? And, and how do you know his, his handsome or the only because, because <laughs> you know his face? I know him personally. I worked with him for an entire year. Oh. At the bank. He's one of oh, the that's right. He's one of the directors. Here in El Salvador. No, in Argentina. He was my, ah. my student for one year. So I cannot show you pictures. No wonder one you went to Argentina. Yeah. Uh, give so, us a name. No, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Hold on, let me think. No, because this class is recorded. I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. See you tomorrow. I have to go. Yeah. Hey, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Good See you all. So Monday uh, on Monday. <laughs> Monday. Yes, yes, yes. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>